Hello everyone, welcome to my young and the restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the next week of November 6 to 10 on The Young and the Restless indicate that Victor Newman is about to make a big decision that might have an impact on everyone at Newman Enterprises. Fans of Voy and R are aware that Victor has been manipulating people by playing mind games and fabricating memory issues, thus his next move could further this. On the other hand, it's feasible that Victor will have to decide who passed his treachery test. Victor may be prepared to share the results of his inquiry if he eventually decides who can be trusted. Regardless, Victor's major announcement will be eagerly awaited by Nick Newman, Victoria Newman, Adam Newman, and Nate Hastings. Nikki Newman, who is aware of Victor's ruse, will also be more concerned about her husband's handling of the situation. Specifically for Nate, Y and R teasers indicate that he will learn some startling information. If Victor really wants to get his kids upset, he could even designate Nate as his temporary CEO in addition to providing updates on his act. On the other hand, given that Mamie Johnson intends to separate from Tucker McCall, Nate's curveball might have something to do with her. Mamie may have a few more ploys up her sleeve to carry out that plan, as she has been exerting a lot of effort to persuade Nate to return to Chancellor Winters. Danny Romolotti will then take on the role of Peacemaker, which may pertain to Phyllis Summers and Christine Blair in the event that their conflict gets out of hand. Of course, if Heather Stevens, Veil vale Bloom, starts to cause trouble again, Danny might also try to mediate a settlement between Daniel Romolotti Jr. and Phyllis or Lily Winters. Summer Newman is going to have to make an admission across town. That might have to do with confiding in Phyllis or possibly chance himself about her love for Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd. Alternatively, Summer may concede that Chloe Mitchell was correct in her assessment of her own dread of failing at Marchetti. Without Kyle Abbott running Marchetti beside her, Summer obviously feels like she has something to prove, and as a result, she's turning into a nightmare boss. Chloe is depending on Chelsea Lawson to help her get through the summer, but will they be able to work together to create harmony in terms of style? In any event, Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Summer will confess to someone, so after she opens up, she might receive some wise counsel. You should be Spoilers at CDL. The young the and office. the restless suggest that Victor Newman would expand his plan. When it comes to his mental decline, Victor continues to play with his kids, making them wonder if he's truly losing his mind. Adam Newman has enlisted Dr. Skelton in an attempt to get his father the assistance he requires because he still has a great deal of concern about Victor. Now that Victor is laying additional traps, even Nick and Victoria Newman are questioning the truth once again. However, Victor may soon subject his children to the greatest test of all. Victor will make a choice that shakes his family the week of November 6 to 10. Fans of Y and R can anticipate a genuinely startling decision that Victor's kids will undoubtedly find objectionable. Additionally, we know that Victor will provide some information regarding his position as head of Newman Enterprises, since Nate Hastings is expected to get some shocking news. Victor has stated time and time again that he can only trust Nate. That is untrue because Victor is also surreptitiously testing Nate, but Victor might take a risk to prove that Nate is the only one in whom he has confidence. Much has been said about how Nate would always be an outsider and never ascend to the Newman throne, but what would happen if Victor gave him a temporary CEO position? Victor may claim that he needs Nate to run the show until he can be assured of things once more and that he can't trust his own judgment at this time. Victor may encourage Nate to assume leadership at Newman Enterprises while he waits for test results that he doesn't even need. Victor will be able to witness Nate's and his kids' reactions to that shocker in this method. The assistant situation is already causing stress between Adam and Nate, but this may really heat things up. Adam may act as though Nate is using Victor's problems to further his own ambition for dominance. It might also be detrimental to their romantic connection because Victoria would be quite upset if Nate were to receive a promotion instead of her. Nick, on the other hand, has zero faith in Nate, 
Therefore, if he does accept the temporary CEO position, he might become enraged at Victor's choice and snap at Nate for it. Will Victor's temporary ascension to the Newman throne cause a major upheaval? Will Victor put his kids to the ultimate test with that decision? According to teasers for The Young and the Restless, Nate will undoubtedly become involved in more turmoil, so pay attention. CDL is the place to be if you November want to November 2 of The Young and the Restless promises to be a significant day for Christine Blair as she considers the dissolution of her marriage to Paul Williams and attempts to determine her next course of action. Naturally, Laura Lee Bell will also be celebrating today since this program will act as an homage to her 40 years of marriage. This implies that there will be some amazing flashbacks to some of Christine's favorite times throughout her tenure at Y&R. But there will also be a ton of new sequences, such as a few dramatic ones in which Phyllis and Christine meet paths in the park. Somehow, Phyllis will manage to stir things up, which will rekindle her rivalry with Christine and serve as a reminder of how much they detest one another. Phyllis's growing intimacy with Danny Romolotti will greatly irritate Christine, who might accuse Phyllis of pretending to be a different person and abusing Danny's generosity. After that, after they're confident about the divorce, Christine will see Lauren Fenmore Baldwin, Tracy E. Bregman, who will assist her in working through her issues with Paul. In Thursday's special show, Danny will also make an appearance to console Christine of her lost romance and offer her some optimism for future. Even if Christine isn't prepared to start dating Danny again, she might consider getting back together in the future. In any case, Danny will demonstrate that he's a good buddy for the time being and that he'll be there for Christine in times of need. Christine will be shocked to find a familiar face when she gets at Crimson Lights. It will be wonderful to watch Trisha Cast reprise her Nina role when she returns to the role in honor of Laura Lee Bell's 40th anniversary. Nina will be Christine's sounding board for Cricket on Thursday's episode because she's her best friend and a great listener. Keep checking back for additional details on Christine's upcoming chapter. According to previews for The Young and the Restless, Nina will receive updates on all Christine is going through and will also provide some guidance. According to the young if you're and looking the restless for spoilers for Wednesday, November 1, Billy Abbott will be surprised by Chelsea Lawson when she returns to Gino City, and they will kiss and talk about how she needs to put out some Marchetti fires. Before Billy arrives at the coffee shop with Chelsea, he will receive updates on some concerns that have arisen between Summer Newman and Chloe Mitchell. There will be some discussion on Connor Newman, who is currently living in the dorms and is succeeding greatly at his new school. In addition, Connor approved Chelsea's decision to cease working remotely and increase her time in Geno City. Chelsea will tell Billy about all of this news before they go to her former apartment because she only gets to see Connor on the weekends due to the fact that it's a boarding school. Billy will confide in Chelsea about Tucker McCall's plots and his worries about Kyle Abbott pursuing his career after they have made love. Billy will be concerned about Jack Abbott's opinion, but he will also really believe that he is headed in the right direction at the family business and will make every effort to maintain his job. Maria Copeland will meet up with Kyle at Society, where he will learn that Aria Porter Copeland is scheduled to receive her new hearing aids fitted today. Kyle will reassure Mariah that they might work and add that if they don't, there are still other things to consider. Maria will be concerned that they might not work. Maria will start to worry that Kyle is trying to have Billy fired after he confides in her about his ambition to rejoin Jabot as co-CEO. Although Kyle would say he isn't intentionally attempting to harm Billy, he is sure he will ultimately achieve his goals. Before taking off, Maria will caution Kyle to go cautiously. Billy will soon face Kyle, at which point Billy will admit that he is aware of Kyle's plans. Billy will not let the matter rest until it is resolved. Summer will be unhappy with the sketches Chloe shows her at work for the spring collection and will insist that they start over. Summer won't think these are good enough, but Chloe will counter that they are only rough drafts and that they can be improved. Chloe will encourage Summer to believe in both her and Chelsea's experiences, 
but Summer will take offense and believe it is a jab at her lack of fashion knowledge. Summer, however, will make it plain that she is in command of Marchetti and that she is aware of her desires. Customers of Marchetti demand a specific aesthetic, thus they must improve as sales have decreased. Summer is running Marchetti without Kyle right now. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.